Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Storms and today, welcome to Dead Island Definitive Edition. No, the only reason, oh, the only difference Definitive Edition has over the normal Dead Island game is that it has improved graphics. I'm going to press start so that we don't get this cutscene. So I've played this game on the Xbox 360 and even beat it. When I tell you I'm going to get hit with huge nostalgia, I'm telling you I'm getting hit with huge nostalgia. I loved this game so much that literally I played it like all day just trying to go through the entire campaign even though I skipped cutscenes and everything. As you guys can see it says continue but I've already recorded this and um, instead of editing it I ended up deleting the clip. So uh, here I am recording it again so we have to press play. <sighs> To delete this save anyways this game i've literally haven't played in forever so i'm gonna get hit with a lot of nostalgia honestly so since i already went through it the first time i know that i don't have there's not really anything at the, the prologue of the game you don't really have to do much uh there's no extra what do you call it? there's no extra like blueprints laying around so we have logan thorn expert perna firearms expert Jean, I'm calling her Jean, or Zean, Zian, I like Jean, uh, she's a sharp weapon expert, and Sam B, blunt weapon expert, I went with, uh, Jean, because, my father was a very great oh, man, not yet, uh, I went with her, because you're gonna be using sharp weapons throughout the entire game, most likely, well, uh, melee weapons are like the 100%, like the one thing you're gonna be using, so I'm choosing Jean, my father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. Oof. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wu Xing Wu Triad. That, uh... And I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. Well, there's my phone. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask. For I am a patriot. But I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself. Alright. Yes, I do. So... I completely forgot everything that I said in the other video, but pretty much... This is very nostalgic for me. I've already played this game. I know what happens. I remember running away from freaking Rams just here Turning around and seeing that dude run at me, bro The graphics everything has been improved character features and everything As you guys could look at Jean uh, in the lunch screen. Hopefully I can figure out how to say her name I'm probably just gonna search it up because it's very annoying because I completely forgot how to say her name I've actually played as this character back then when I actually played this was the character I chose so, blueprint found. Okay. But, I played as this what's character. Okay, what's with all the... I forget even where... Stuff is. But, pretty much, I remember running around, running away from rams and stuff, being scared for my life, bro. I would be so scared of this freaking game bro just like running around just having zombies chase you i was one of those kids that like when stuff happened it was scary oh that was like a fucking bad miss bad hit but pretty much um i was one of those kids where i would be running around and stuff and pretty much just be terrified of what's about to happen 
the thing that scared me the most had to be the butchers. Those guys with the freaking bones as arms. And those who just absolutely would just run after you so fast. Bro, those scared me so much. But, hey. I'm 14 now. Not 8 or 9 or 10. Whatever age it was. So, pretty much should not be as scared as I was before. Beautiful sighting now. These graphics are incredibly improved, like, no joke when I say they're improved, they're improved. Like, look at that scenery. Look at this scenery, bro. Like, look at the light. The clouds look real. The water looks real. It's, even though the fact that the waves just don't even move. It looks all nice and you have down there. It's just honestly a beautiful game now. Huh, this will be useful. It's a lot of money I just stole from people. Can you open the elevator hatch? Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this on PS4. I don't even think it was on PS4 when it came out, so... I'm ready to get hit with nostalgia. Obviously, I've already played through all this part, so I'm not- you're really not gonna get a reaction out of me when it comes to here. I'm mad that I kinda actually deleted the footage. instructions I think I didn't loot any of this over here so at least I'm getting it in now you know what sucks I can't play Spotify because apparently this is some blocked scene and it's annoying because I really wanted to listen. Also, a new thing that they have is, I believe, the cross here in the middle. I think it used to be just a dot. But I can't really remember much from years Anything ago. Help. Oh, wait. I've had my PS4 since 2015. I'm almost 15, so yeah. Around age eight or nine, I played this game. All right. How can you run in heels? Girls always be talking about how like it's so hard to run in heels and stuff, but we got Jean. Running in heels. Gotta search up how to pronounce her name. I imagine it's pronounced like Zion. <laughs> I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, I bloody tell you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Not the head. Shut the hell up. Not the bloody head. You're dead to me. I ain't asking you again. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, thank God. You're welcome. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Maybe. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Uh, I don't know, man. Those things came for us, and Cena Boy went out to kill them alone. Cool. Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. But see, when when you say that, help him. what's the point of saving my life if I can just go out there and then risk dying, and then we're both dead? It made no sense. 
You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help. Me. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? No. You need to find a weapon. It's on my right. Why won't anyone do anything? All right. But this is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fucking three. Hey, by any chance, did you check on your right and behind you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're not a thug. You're a walker. Not a walker. What are these called? Oh, yeah, they're called walkers. How did I take your... Oh, I was about to say, how did I take your leg off with a... I'm just getting any weapons I can. I just broke what? I broke your freaking hip. I wonder how bad this smells. <laughs> Hey, you almost hit me. One? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Your first impression of him would not be what is that Australian? It's very stereotypical, but I don't know what that accent would be. I mean, he said mate, so but that's very stereotypical as well. Can you hear me? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe Her. now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. We didn't think you were gonna make it. You kill them all. Thanks. Complete the prologue now. Nope, I don't want that. What? Fine, I'll let you go through. Donga. I found you. All right, so when I did this, I went for this because while Fury helps a lot, I'd rather be able to deal damage and get rid of enemies faster and then get this just to like deal that extra amount of damage and then that will be the last thing I get in order. So, beat up pretty bad. Let's talk to Cinemoy. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head life guy here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms. Jean. <laughs> Those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who <laughs> you are or how you know that guy love on the bites, radio. Bro. But he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. That's not good. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's His an ambulance there and more detailed. equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Her name is Jean May. There's a change I don't like, and that change is the fact that you no longer bring up a piece of paper with all the information on it. I pretty much preferred the piece of paper because it was like, oh, I'm reading an actual piece of paper. But hey, I gotta deal with it. This is how it's gonna be for the rest of the game. Bring the security car, uh, key card to the lifeguard tower from bungalow number 11. I'll see what I can do. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. All right. This Talk to whoever this is. Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. <laughs> Gotta be a fucking nightmare. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh no, I didn't want to drink that. 
You good, my man? He seems to be like having a panic attack or something, bro. I like your watch. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking to an intimate PC. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way out the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Find Maggie and tell Stephen her location. Yeah. Sure. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Cause I mean, you know, <laughs> where the hell else am I gonna go? Uh, the water, the, the beach, literally a beach outside. Seems pretty nice. What are my best weapons? Just so I can get ready. DPS. Ah, oh, it's DPS now. Ah, uh, the two things I have are like the best. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that first episode off here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out